This is Mr. Jones. He wants to know what the difference is between necessary and sufficient conditions. This is Mr. Jones' sheep, Fluffy. There are necessary and sufficient conditions for a sheep. For example, a sheep is a mammal. Therefore, in order for something to be considered a sheep, it must be a mammal. This is a necessary condition. This condition is not sufficient, however. That is because while sheep are mammals, not all mammals are sheep. That is the difference between a necessary and sufficient condition. A necessary condition is one that must be true in order for a statement to be true, such as a sheep being a mammal. A sufficient condition is a condition which, if satisfied, assures the statement's truth. For example, consider the statement, if a creature can grow wool, it is a sheep. Wool can only come from a sheep. Therefore, the ability to produce wool is a sufficient condition in order for something to be a sheep. But it may not be a necessary condition. Imagine our friend Fluffy here lost all of his nice warm wool and couldn't grow anymore. This would not stop him from continuing to be a sheep. Therefore, while being able to grow wool is a sufficient condition for a sheep, it is not necessary. This is Mr. Jones' house. Just like sheep, houses have both necessary and sufficient conditions. For instance, a roof is a necessary condition for a house, although it is not sufficient on its own. This is because many kinds of buildings have roofs, not just houses. Sufficient condition for a building to be a home is that it is lived in. Condition is both necessary and sufficient. This building is lived in by Mr. Jones. That is both a necessary and sufficient condition to make it a house. If we were to remove the roof of Mr. Jones' house, then it would no longer be a house. This is because a roof is a necessary condition for a house. A roof alone is not a house, however. Therefore, it is not a sufficient condition. There are many necessary conditions for something to be a house, such as having walls, a door, etc. If we were to remove the roof of Mr. Jones' house, then it would no longer be a house. It's because a roof is a necessary condition for a house. If we remove the walls from under the roof, we have no house. This is because while roof is necessary, it is not sufficient. Therefore, on its own, it is not a house. We wish Mr. Jones the best with repairing his home.